Okay guys, I'm back and today I'm going to do a preview, review, my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I've had it for maybe a month now, give or take. Uh, what's today? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. So I think Sunday night or Monday I picked up this case, which also doubles as a stand. If you're going to play it in tabletop mode and it comes comes with a, uh, a screen protector which you will need uh, I also picked up the little things right here the little casings I recommend it if this is your primary way of controlling your switch but you're gonna to have to take these little plastic covers off if you use this little doohickey right here They'll slide in right here your controllers and you can play it as a full functioning controller you don't have to spend the 80 bucks on a pro controller unless you want to uh, and so far I'm not going to spend that much money on a controller unless I just happen to lose one of these or whatever uh, the build quality for these it's pretty good uh, it's a bit too small for my hands but it's it's okay it's not bad. Uh, I wish it was just a little bit bigger than, you know, it would be okay. But as it is, it's not bad. Uh, it's better if you use this right here. Although even playing it like this, the button layout is a little weird compared to a, as a, compared to a regular controller for the PS3, PS4, or what have you. This size works better, but of course this is PS3. Uh, the button layout is smooth, you know, but, uh, going back to the Switch controllers, when you have, well, hold on a minute. But this is what it looks like. And playing it is not bad. It's just a little weird because I'm so used to both thumbsticks being level, you know, and the buttons up front. Well, I'm used to the thumbsticks being level with each other and the buttons, face buttons up front. But it just takes some getting used to. Uh, other than that, it's not bad. You, you just have to, have to get used to it. Um, I, so far I've only played it in handheld mode and tabletop mode, so I, I can't tell you how it looks as far as docking because I never used a dock yet. Uh, in handheld mode, it's pretty good feel to be honest with you. Uh, just that, and I don't know another way they could have done it, but I suppose if you really, really wanted to, you could probably snap the controllers off if you really put enough pressure on it. I don't know who would, but, you know, it, I think it really could happen if you really wanted to. But other than that, the build quality is good. Uh, mine didn't come with any dead pixels or whatever. I haven't had that problem. I haven't had the problem with the left Joy-Con messing up that some people said they had a problem with earlier on. Uh, looks like this without the case on it. My only problem, and it's not really a problem, but... If I was going to play it in tabletop mode without this case, it only comes with this one hinge. And this is where the memory card goes right there, underneath the hinge, if you can see it. Uh, I don't know why it only comes with that one hinge. Why not have two hinges so it can lay flat, you know, normal. But that one hinge, it's kind of uh, just sort of a bad design choice in my book. And I've heard of some guys on YouTube where the hinges, it won't snap. If you can hear it. I've seen some guys on YouTube having to go back and re-bend the hinge a little bit better. So it can snap. But, I don't know. I guess that's just, just wear and tear. It will happen eventually. But uh, other than that, that's my only problem with the system. Uh, 
I bought it primarily for Skyrim, Doom, Wolfenstein, and uh, those will come out later on. There's another game coming out next week called uh, Rogue Trooper. It's based off of the old British comics, 2000 AD, which is in the same comics that does the Judge Dredd comics. Uh, there's nothing else to say. Uh, I'll do a review of Mario Kart later after this. But uh, as far as the build quality, it's pretty good. I think Nintendo did a really good job on this. Only thing I'm waiting for is games that I know I'll play. I'm not a big fan of Mario. I bought Mario Kart just because uh, so far there's nothing really that's out there now that I really want to play. I'm not a big fan of FIFA or NBA 2K. I'm not a fan of the wrestling game that's coming out. Uh, I do have one wrestling game on the, the DS, which is actually pretty good. So I'm not saying I won't buy WWE 2K18 or whatever it's called. But uh, that's not one of my primary games that I'll play, you know. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty good system. Is it worth the 300 Uh Right now, I would say no. And that's only because the games that I like playing, they're not on the system yet. But they are coming. So, uh, it's not really much I can say on it, to be honest. Uh, there's no flaws to it that I can think of. I haven't been online with it yet. So, uh, I've heard people say some games you can't play with your friends. You can play with random people, though. But I can't. I'm not saying they're lying. Cause other, other people have said the same thing. But I personally haven't tried it yet. So, I can't say one way or the other. Is it worth it at least at 250 Yes. I think maybe Black Friday or Cyber Monday. You can probably find it at 250 on Amazon or your local Walmart, Target or whatever. At that price, yes, I would pick it up at 250 hands down. At 300 unless you can find a good game that you really want to play on it, then go for 300 Uh That's it, my small review for the Nintendo Switch. And that's it, guys. I'll see you later.